Yes, 104.1 FM. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Lagos. Good morning to you, Baba Keke. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning. The first paper we're taking a look at is the front page of The Guardian with headline, Kano cracked down on beer despite 40.6 billion naira remittance. Isba vows to sustain confiscation of intoxicant beverages. Dealers count losses. United Arab Emirates decriminalizes alcohol. Other stories from the front page of The Guardian. Tinumbu, Fashala, others may lose pensions to new Lagos law. Sonwulu says pension stoppage will facilitate 2021 budget of 1.155 trillion naira. Agbaje Ojikutu, others doubt governor's capacity to stop pay. It's populist intention to win citizens. Assembly members may frustrate new law. Ex-minister Ogunlewe hails decision. Budget office worried over unpaid salary in 428 agencies. University of Lagos may announce new VC today. A human fair selected for film festivals in Greece, Poland. By this intention team denied access to classified information, State Department and others. The picture on the front page of The Guardian has a photograph with, of officials of Nigeria's Center for Disease Control, NCDC, testing members of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, Batch B Stream IA at the orientation camp at Yanopaja in Lagos yesterday. Stories coming away from the front page of The Guardian. From the front page of the Guardian newspaper, we go straight to the front page of the Nation newspaper. Lagos ends pension for ex-governors, deputies with the riders, Sonwo Olu to send executive bill. Governor proposes 1.15 trillion naira for 2021. Other stories, export waiver for Dangote, BOA, sparks controversy. Peterside makes case for small businesses. SEC to the list of 157 firms from capital markets. IG reps seek more cash for police in budget. 18.4 billionaire inadequate. ASU directs members to boycott UI convocation. Yinilag VC Professor Gundikwe reinstated. IPOC can't speak for Igbo, says Umahi. INEC to restart voter registration. PDP moves to block Umahi's defection to APC. Edo proposes 153 billionaire for 2021. And there are multiple pictures here. One of a Shu State Governor, Adegbo Yegao Yitala, presenting the 2021 budget as the House of Assembly Oshobo yesterday. Another one of Son Olu presenting the 2021 estimates also yesterday. And those are the stories from the front page of the Nation newspaper. And from the front page of the Nation newspaper, I will take you to the Daily Trust. Land border closure, anger as Dangote, BUA waiver for export. And from the Nation newspaper, we take you to Daily Trust. Anger as Dangote, BUA gets waiver for export with the right that selective waiver killing small businesses, Peter Said said. We want fairness, says local exporters. There is presidential approval of customs. Cement sells for 3,100 naira. Other stories on the front page IGP 6, 24.8 billion to fill vehicles and motorcycles. Maman Dora needlessly mis misunderstood, says Buhari. APC gets presidential approval for membership registration. 428 agencies can't pay November salary, says federal government. Strange disease kills 25 in Benue, Oyo. Tongolu moves to stop Tunubu, others pensions. And those are the stories on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper. From the front page of Daily Trust newspaper, we take to the front page of The Punch. CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria, accuses hash and SARS campaigners of terrorism. Apex Bank alleges transaction in frozen accounts can cause economic and security harm. Freezing accounts is illegal. Federal government behaving like a terrorist, says Aisha Yusuf. Central Bank of Nigeria warns banks against diverting agric intervention funds. Border closure. LCCI, Peter Sai condemn exception for Dangote and others. 
I'm leaving PDP for APC, Umahi tells Secundus and others. Lagos plans to stop Tinumbu, other former governor's pensions. Nightcom plan list of Nigerians wrongfully jailed abroad. NEC we decide APC caretaker panel's tenure, says bonus committee. Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, expresses worry over frequent raids of Oshun churches. Reps clash over alleged harassment of humanitarian affairs minister. Ogun suspected robber killed in gun deal with police. The front page of the punch has pictures, and of course, picture taken as the COP members, NYSC COP members, uh, start staff of National Youth Service Corps during the opening of the 2020 Batch B Stream 1A of the NYSC camp in the Yanopaja in Lagos. Stories coming your way from the front page of the Punch. From the front page of the Punch newspaper, we go straight to the front page of the Daily Sun. Lagos bars Tinubu, Fashola, Ambode, others from pension. With the riders, ex deputy governors also affected. APC, Afeni Ferry, others hail governor. Other stories, first kidney transplant center in southeast London in Newi. Enter, hashtag enters, Debido, Two-Face, Fowl, Sam Adeyemi, Burner Boy, Tiwa Savage, Kanonwako, Yo Edoche, Sued. Federal government, we're broke, can't pay for 128 ministries, departments, and agencies' salaries. Blame situation on new minimum wage. Two policemen fed dead as conflicting account trail attack on Edo police station. APC begins registration of new members. Rumor of tenure elongation falls. And that's coming from Buni. And of course, there's a picture here with a writer that says uh, that shows President Muhammad Buhari receiving copies of APC's in house magazine from the party's chairman, caretaker committee, and governor of Yobe State, Malama Ebuni. They are flanked by Governor Atikubaka Badugu of Kebe State and Jigawa State Governor Muhammad Abubaka Badaru in Abuja yesterday. Also, there's a picture of Governor Babadide Sonwulu of Lagos State presenting the year 2021 budget estimate to the State House of Assembly, Keja, yesterday. Those are the stories from the front page of the Daily Sun. And from the front page of the Daily Sun, we take you to the Nigerian Tribune. Lagos to stop pensions for ex-governors, deputies, with the rider Sonwulu to send executive bill for repeal of public office order pension law Present 1.155 trillion Naira budget proposed for 2021. Other stories, strained illness kills 17 in Benue. 46 professors to actualize Igbo presidency in 2023, group says. All your lawmakers express worry over growing robbery gang violence crime. SARS damaged my scrotum during 81-day detention, lecturer tells Anambra panel. Rep squeeze Akpabio over one Rep squeeze Akpabio over 15 billion Naira budget for East to West Road. But the rider decries state over 300 abandoned projects. Other stories, Sam Adeyemi, Aisha Yasufu, Davido, Kanu, Two-Face, 45 others charged to court over NTAS. LCCI kicks as federal government exempt Dangote, BUA gas firm, from border closure restrictions. 420 MBAs won't be able to pay November salary. DG Budget Office, that's the Director General of the Budget Office. Uh, Unilag VC may be reinstated today. Only NEC can determine tenor and elongation, APC caretaker committee says. And on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, we have a picture of the Ocean State Governor, Mr. Adeboyega Yetola, presenting 109.8 billion Naira 2021 budget estimate at the State House of Assembly, Ushubu, on Tuesday. And those are the stories on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. From the front page of Nigerian Tribune, we take you to the front page of the last paper this morning, is the front page of Vanguard. With headline, Hashtag NSARS clamp down with a free picture of uh, of the of Reverend Sam Adewye, David Doe, Two Face, Kanu Wanko, Banky W, Yusuf, Eromo Sele, and Files all on the front page of the Vanguard. With a, so up above the under the caption, we have Rem, uh, Reverend Sam Adewye, David Doe, Two Face, Kanu, and 46 others dragged to court. Police, DSS, arresting protesters. Delta panel member cries out, I police deceived me to arrest my brother, a Romo Seller's sister. Police moved my client to Abuja, denied bail, says lawyer. 
Police deny arresting protesters. Jumbo Pension, Jack Onde, Tinumbu, Fashola, others to lose pay as Sonwolu moves to repeal law, presents 1.155 trillion Naira budget for 2021. Hashtag NSAS protests. Private sector lost over 5 trillion Naira. That's coming from NECA. 428 agencies won't be able to pay salary end of November, says federal government. Zolom Lords, United Arab Emirates, for convicting Boko Haram support sponsors. CAC deregisters NGO enough is enough. Hashtag answers they will hit my scrotum cerebrally, detain me for 81 days. That's coming from a victim. Buhari approves registration of new APC members. 2023 poll, my presidential ambition not to do for die affair, says Bakari. And of course, we have a uh, we told you about the photograph on the front page of NSAS. And again, we have Mr. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. is a cartoon, a discussion between husband and wife on the front page of Vanguard. You knew that I was from a royal family. Mm -hmm. So why are you angry when they, you were asked to contribute just 200,000 Naira just to the annual Aves ceremony of our town? Don't get the deities angry. Just and you know the target, the total money is really like just 10 million Naira. It's because we are just many. What? It's what because time? we are many that you're what? asking you for just 200,000 Naira. Where COVID day? Tell <laughs> what? You're COVID. a big boy. Ah. COVID not a big boy. Yeah, oh. big boy. They don't savvy, Spend oh. this money. The deities should direct their anger at those who made this country like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You wish I paid the money. We should direct. I have not anger. said you should not complain. We it's okay for you to anger. see. It's okay for you to complain. Mm. There was a lockdown. Yes, um, you know that. Yeah, and, and I know that a lot of businesses were affected uh, after uh, the uh, hoodlums yeah, decided that, to do their own drama. But you didn't even mention yeah, COVID still, since March. Yes, yeah, still, yes, yeah, still. You didn't mention COVID. Yes, yeah, still since a March. big man. Two hundred naira. Uh, two hundred thousand okay, naira. Okay, I will pay two hundred. No, no, two hundred thousand. <laughs> 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 200,000 naira. You said 200 naira, my dear. They transfer the shrine to our house. <laughs> 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 you do that. Alright. That wraps today's edition of Press Review. My name is Kenny Keke Ugumbe. And my name is Ife Ajagbe. My name is Amavazi Kikvaj of the Raging.